always a challenge bringing up children. Teaching them how to be independent and look after themselves is not easy. But how does that work when you are bringing up twins who have someone to depend on right next to them? The Department of Twin Research at King's College London has a database of over 12,000 twins who are taking part in a fascinating research programme. Throughout their lifetimes, the twins regularly visit St Thomas's Hospital in London to have a range of medical tests. The side of your face and they will capture. Okay, so this one's your 3D photos. <laughs> That's interesting, huh? Amazing. <laughs> Today, hundreds of pairs of twins taking part in the programme have come to a summer party at the hospital. It's a chance to meet other twins and share their experiences. So why are all these twins so important to scientists? All identical twins like Zand and Chris share 100% of their genes. They are genetically identical. This is quite peculiar, isn't it? Amazing. Twins usually look exactly the same and they often have very similar abilities, interests and personalities. Chris and I are similar in that we enjoy the same things, we both uh, have a lot of the same friends. We both did medical degrees, we did exactly the same A-levels, we got more or less the same grades. But identical twins can also be good at different things. I think I am different to you. I think I do have some free choice. There are differences in our personalities. I remember when we were 10 and I failed, you know, I, I came bottom of the class in every single exam. And everyone said, oh, you know, why don't you just work a bit harder like your brother and you do a bit better? So if two people are genetically identical, why is one loud and independent and the other quiet and shy? Or why does one get an illness and the other doesn't? It is these differences between identical twins that are so important to researchers. They give us a clearer picture of the influence of nature, our genes, and nurture, how we live, on the development of our personality and health. And scientists hope that this can help them to identify and prevent health problems in the future. Runyararo and Rafaro Mapfumo are twins. They live together in East London. My name is Rafaro Mapfumo. I'm 20 years old. I'm 23 minutes older than my twin sister and I study biomedical science at Middlesex University. I'm Runyararo Mapfumo, um, also 20 years old, and I'm studying uh, film and visual effects at Sheffield Hallam University. For Afaro and Runyararo, there are many more advantages to being twins than disadvantages. Having a double wardrobe is great <laughs> as a twin. Um, one of the advantages about being a twin is getting to play tricks on people. When we were younger, we swapped classes a few times, which was interesting. I went to her maths class and she went to my English class and we swapped because we thought it would be really funny. We never got caught though. <laughs> we used to look even more similar. Hey, and you, what would you... When they were teenagers, the Mapfumo twins did some acting. They learnt new skills. But, as at school, they were still able to take each other's place when necessary. What time is the next screening of Indiana Jones, please? It's at 3.30. Because they were twins, they once had the chance to work on a Harry Potter film. They would give us one role and divide that between us. So I would go on set for three hours 
while Renuara was in school. And then once I'd finished and I'd had my time on set, they used to swap us over. So I suppose that's good because we, even though we got to do what we loved, we still had enough time to go to school and get a really good education as well. Rafara is a bit more of a joker. She likes to make everybody laugh. Um, whereas I could possibly be seen as more serious. Renuaro has a lot of patience and I think when you do film you need to have a lot of patience and kind of speak to the people you're working with and artists and be able to guide them patiently whereas I kind of want things done then and there I have a little bit less patience. It's always nice having somebody that you have a close connection to and having a twin I don't think there's a stronger bond it's like living with your best friend really I love that that's nice seeing that yeah, yeah. I was dressed the same with our jackets. I think that's probably when we looked most similar, actually. Yes, yeah. yeah we do really Rachel Mapfumo is the mother of the Mapfumo twins. Oh, yeah, for our audition, our first. Very our much. audition as twins. Yes. I remember buying those t shirts in Max and Spencer's. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, what's it like raising identical twins? I had to rely a lot on um, my parents because um, having two babies. They had different times of feeding, that was one of the difficulties, different types of sleeping and um, so you find if you didn't have any help then you'll be up 24-7. Another difficulty is the cost. Everything you pay for is double. Um, not so much when they're young but when they're older it becomes very costly. Our spotlight picture. The girls bonded right from the first day. I used to keep them more or less together. They had different cribs, they had, you know, separate chairs. But for some reason, they always used to reach out for each other or look out for each other. Yes. And that. Oh, yes. Oh, very nice. I remember that. We were in Wimbledon. The problem I found was that the teachers could not differentiate between the two girls, who was Rufaro and who was Runyara. Mm, yeah, very nice. Oh. Smiling teddy, in the back garden. Your teddy yeah. making its yeah. way into every picture. <laughs> Is that you or Runyara? Oh, wait. <laughs> That's not you. That's your wait, sister. Okay, so she's oh, okay. Sometimes it seems the girls can communicate yeah, without so talking. Nice, so. oh, we yeah. didn't go circling for a long time. <laughs> I can't even tell you sometimes as a mother what they do, but I know they have a silent a way of communicating. If Runyararo is, say, at Sheffield and Rufaro is in London, and if something is happening to Runyararo that she's not happy, Rufaro can pick it up. She was in the library and she left to go to the toilet and she lost, she, when she got back, her laptop had been stolen and she was quite upset. She hadn't rang me or she hadn't rang her sister, but at the moment when she was so desperate, her sister rang her from London to say if she was all right because she just felt something was going on. So it's things like that as well, even when they're apart, that they can still communicate. They know if one is in trouble or if one is not happy or if one is happy for that, for that matter. They've got a very close bond. Um, I don't worry so much about them because I know they've got each other. Uh, they talk to one another. And the most interesting is, uh, at the moment, to see them grow up to be very confident and individual uh, young ladies. <laughs>